about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know friends, it's Lindsay with Emeralds of Fairy Lights. I'm here today for a post review on my Alice in the Starry Night. So I finished this one and I'm really excited to show it to you guys because I did this for JBG Along, the event that I'm hosting with Cracking with Shay. And um, this was the, the one that I worked on because it ended up being the one that I had at the start of the event. I'm really happy that it is the one because I had a lot of fun with it. So this one is a 32 inch by 16 inch or 81 centimeter by 41 centimeter. Let's pull it out and I will show you. So if you can see already, this is the thing that I did with them that I was so excited about to try. And that is that I made the sky crystals. So if you can see that <laughs> up close, this was actually a lot harder to do than I originally thought. And um, so it took me a little bit longer to do this. Just showing you this whole canvas. I'll get into more detail. If you hear any noises, I'm sorry, I'm filming with children in the room. Um, but um, hopefully <laughs> they'll be they'll be quiet. Um, so um, first off, I just think this is such a cute, fun piece. Um, Jasmine Becker Griffith likes to draw Alice in famous um, pieces of artwork, which is really neat. This one, adopted by Diamond Art Club, is obviously in the Starry Night, um, and it's it's really pretty so i wanted to try to figure out how to make this um just something a little fun with it and i decided hey i'm just gonna switch out all of the diamond drills for crystal drills and for gold drills i don't know if you can see on here oops as i shake it but i actually have gold running through here and um it turned out to be a little bit more of a challenge. Now, when you have 58 colors in this piece and the majority of those colors are in the sky, you then have to come up with crystals for all those individual colors. And I feel like I really got a taste of how difficult it is to adapt a sky to crystal sparklers. Um, basically, there's some colors that don't necessarily translate. There's other colors that um, they don't come out the same tone or the same color as the charted DMC for a regular drill. And it can just be really difficult to <laughs> figure out um, the how to make the drills match in the right color grade that you want. Um, just kind of going off of, you You can take the DMC code. So that's basically what I did as I went and I found all the crystals that I could find. Now there were several DMCs that I could not find. I don't think they make crystal crystals in that DMC color. Um, and so I had to basically guess, but even when I got the actual DMCs of the crystals and I matched them with the regular DMC colors that I had, they didn't necessarily translate. <laughs> um, and so, um, it was kind of just a bit of a guessing game. Now, I really like how it ended up turning out. Um, I, it's mostly followed. I just tried to match the colors that were charted. And then, uh, you know, I, I, I inserted some of the, the gold and yellow crystals. Just um, how, how they were kind of charted just to have fun with. Like, I really like how this moon turned out. Um, I did, it's, it has the gold crystals with the orange, or gold with the orange-ish crystals inside. And I thought I just added something neat. Okay, so um, I do think that the crystals gave a nice contrast to the regular drills down here on the bottom as well as the mountain. Um, because I did crystals, um, the, the ABs that were going to be in the sky, I didn't use. Um, I found I didn't like 
that the the ABs that they kind of stuck out when in a full crystal um, sky. And so I ended up just finding matching crystals for those ABs. And um, so that's basically the sky for you. And this this area, I did take a couple places right here that I kind of firmed up the line of the this expanse, just especially right here. I'm telling you, like this didn't have like a darker line that kind of had an outline like the rest of these mountains. So I just added that there. Um, I don't know if it made the biggest difference, but that's really all I did. Oh, and then you. Ugh. Okay, so in addition to just firming up this line, um, I did add some some darker greens into this valley area. So um, I don't know if you recall the unboxing, but I was so excited that there was this $6.99 color. And I was a little disappointed to find out it was only in her eyes. And this was supposed to be the green that was down here. And... Um, I just, I just wanted green. So <laughs> I switched out this green color for green in the hills. And I know the, the background's supposed to just kind of be fade in, but there are some of these like vibrant reds and yellows. And so I thought, why not add the greens to the, the village, you know? Um, so basically that's what I did as far as that green goes. Now, this is the one thing I thought was a little weird with the charting. Um, just right here, there's like a few ABs, but just a few. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like snow or something on the hills or mountain, but it's honestly just a very weird place to just have like a few ABs. Like I think there are six total ABs right here. And um, I'm, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's a little strange. Like I'm wondering... <laughs> what exactly um is is are these going for like in the painting I mean it's I I don't have complaints I mean I think I left it just as but I just did think that was a little curious that it was just right there as far as this painting goes like I really don't have any issues with the charting the changes that I made were purely my preference like I said with adding a line and switching the green switching out the crystals I did switch up her hair a little bit and make these um, yellows in a B that were um, more of these these lighter brown colors and I just did kind of equivalent ABs. I added a few ABs in the hair here to the lighter parts. Um, but for the most part, I kept it just um, the way that it was charted. You can see in her hair, they originally, they do have this white 141 AB and then they have the lighter yellow AB. And I just kind of added the darker colors to it. I didn't like add extra. Um, this in her arms is also ABs, which I thought was funny. I was like, it almost looks kind of like Snow White the way that it is. I like it. It's pretty, but it, it kind of reminds me of Snow White with the, the lines. Um, I just, in her eyes, the only thing that I changed was I added these, um, just kind of, um, original sparklers or, you know, to the eyes instead of the white ABs, which I like to do in the eyes. I think it's fun. There's a few ABs, and then I really do like how they place the ABs in this headband. It really shines. Now, originally I had said, I thought that her eyes were maybe too blue, but um, I think they're fine in the context of the painting. Um, I was worried about this little pink splotch in her hair, and you know what, I just decided that it. I think it, it does actually work. Um, not anything that I would want to actually change it for. So I'm just explaining to you guys the process of, of what I did with the canvas. So overall, what I just want to say is I think this is a very beautiful piece. I actually think that DAC did chart it really well and, um, it will come out really nice how they charted it. Um, but you can also have some fun with it and change it up if that's the sort of thing that you like to do. 
I of course had plenty, plenty of leftover thrills. Um, just because, like I said, I switched out a lot of colors for my own drills um, with, with the sky and then with some parts of the hair. And um, basically, everything about this was, it was a typical Diamond Art Club painting that it was just um, a dream to work on. It was, the symbols were clear, the stickiness was great. Um, it just goes by really fast um, if you're multi-placing and the drills are just lovely. I didn't, I didn't have very much trash at all. Um, so basically I just, I would definitely recommend this one even if you don't want to go ahead and switch the sky out with crystals. Now I'm going to take it outside and let you see it in the sunlight because I think this would be a fun one to see. So I hope you enjoyed this kind of random post review. Look what I kind of did to this canvas. I think it's always fun to see how people kind of tweak their canvases and they have fun. In my opinion, um, that what I love about doing diamond paintings is that you get to explore people's artwork, um, really enjoy the artist's artwork, and then also be able to kind of add your own flair to it. Um, some of us that are not, like myself, that are not very artistically inclined. <laughs> um, you know, I, I can't draw to save my life, but it's kind of fun to tweak and make things like a little bit more sparkly where I want them to be and like. And so I think this is just such a fun hobby craft form. So let me know what you guys think of the final um, peace and I will see you guys in another video. Bye! Mm -hmm.